Transit 496, I'll be in service working center. The Pierce County Sheriff's Department were responsible for unincorporated Pierce County, but with the transit police, um, I'm typically assigned to downtown Tacoma. Just patrolling along the bus routes and all the different transit centers around here. Being a cop in the area I grew up, I find it very rewarding because, especially with a newborn kid, it's pretty awesome to be able to be out there and be personally responsible with trying to keep the community safe and uh, keeping the streets safe because this is ultimately where my child's going to grow up and where I'm going to be keeping a family. My military service, I was active duty for seven years. Uh, I was in the Army. First four years I was an armor officer, and then my last three years I switched to military intelligence. And then um, I'm currently serving in the Washington National Guard. And I spent some time at Fort Hood, Texas before uh, coming back home over here to Joint Base Lewis McCord. For my transition from the military to a civilian career, as I was getting out, I mean, as a lot of officers do, you kind of look around and think I'm gonna work for these big businesses and become a manager somewhere, but as any young boy, you'd always wanted to become a police officer. And so I had a friend from college that uh, was a Pierce County Sheriff deputy, and I'd reach out to him for a few ride-alongs. And af after each ride-along, that dream came a little bit more and more true. And I was like, I finally decided this is something that I might actually try to pursue. We started dating in 2008 when we went to Pacific Lutheran University, right before we graduated. My experience as a military wife uh, started when we got married in 2010. Transition from uh, military life to civilian life was pretty smooth, although there are challenges with any transition. Um, we, uh, we had done a lot of preparing for this. We knew that it was going to happen at some point. Um, it was just sort of a matter of time and logistics to see um, what the military was going to let us do. Um, were they going to station us in um, in an area that we felt like we could transition out from easily. Um, and we were very lucky to, uh, to transition um, out of the military when we were at Fort Lewis. We were very lucky to get Fort Lewis as our, as our home post, which allowed us to, to, um, to move out of military life e more easily because we were at home. We were with our family. Um, we were in the area where a lot of our family and friends were. So um, that made it um, much more smooth. Some of the things I learned in the military that uh, transfer over well, there's some obvious stuff like being able to handle firearms or being able to like be in a tactical type of situation. But one of the things that kind of stand out to me uh, is like as a leader, like just being a, a leader of like of, of, diff of people and being a leader within the community and just being able to communicate with people and then uh, learning to influence people. That's something that I I didn't realize was going to stick out so much when I became a cop. But you come in and you talk to different people, whether it's a crisis or just interacting with them on the streets, and and that's the kind of stuff that we did while we were patrolling the streets in Iraq. I grew up in a Navy family, oh, so did I can make fun. <laughs> in the Pierce County Sheriff's Department, we have quite a few people who have served in the armed forces. Um, and usually when people talk about people who have graduated from the military and then come to law enforcement, they talk about job experience, maturity, and things like that. There's something that we miss if we just say that. What we miss is the fact that these people have a heart for service. These people have stepped forward before and said, hi, what I want to do has to be something about more than me. I recognize that it's not just all about me. I recognize that um, I owe some things. They have a sense of duty and obligation and sacrifice. That's exactly what we're looking for. That's the kind of core values that we're looking for. That's what we get when we have people in the Sheriff's Department who come from the United States military. My piece of advice for them is to be humble about their roots and then uh, aggressive with their goals. Everyone's going to be respectful and, um, and appreciative of their service from the military, but um, I think the, some of the qualities that make them a good veteran and what they learned in the military uh, will help them aspire to, to, to succeed in the civilian life as long as they keep 
keep pushing with the same drive and discipline that they had in the military.